Hey there, good day. In this video, we are going to understand about STL containers that is stack queues and priority queues. So basically, it's a data stack is a data structure which can be implemented using STL container adapters. So I can create a stack like uh, STK like this. So as with the stack data structure, we have uh, a push function to push the elements into the stack as well as the pop function so we can actually just call the push function like this let's say i'm pushing 100 again i am pushing 200 and let me push again 300 okay to access that just like a stack you can access only the top elements at any point of time and then you have to pop the element before you can access the next one so we can have a while loop like while not uh, cstk is not empty we'll just print the top one and then we'll just pop the element from the stack and if you go ahead and run this program we can see that it's being popped in a reverse order 300 200 100 okay uh, instead of doing c not empty we can say also say that uh, cstk size is not equal to size is not equal to zero size is a member function of stack okay and that's the same result but it's better to use this empty function it does the same thing but it's more semantic in a way there is no performance difference now stack uh, you will say that what is the difference over here i can use the create my own stack in the stack in a still stack container adapters stack by default use dq as a uh, inbuilt data type for a stack so it's by default but we can change the dq to vector and to make sure that vector is used as an underlying data store for this stack and vector it will have the same result and we can even use list over here so list can be used also the list is a linked list so this is the way stack container adapter stack is different from the stack what we used to write in our code okay now let me get rid of this now coming back to queue this is all about stack now coming back to queue in queue queue is uh, a sequence where you can access the data from front as well as from back so the top function will not work over here queue has two ways to get the data you can say cstk dot front okay. let me add the c out and you can also have back so as the name specifies the front is gives you the data in the front of the queue and back gives you the data from the back of the queue but again you will have to pop it back these doesn't pop the data automatically it just gives the data if you want to take the data out you need to pop it back so uh, let me print only one so i am printing the front of the queue it 100 200 300 and if we uh, go ahead and want to print the back it will just print only 300 because till it is get popped out back was only 300 so that's the way we use queue again with the queue uh, by default we can actually use dq over here for the queue it says it works fine and also we can use list over here and it will work fine unfortunately we cannot use vector over here because there is no pop front function in vector so it doesn't fits into the queue data structure so if you use it the vector will get a compilation error so we cannot use with vector so that's all about queue but there is something called priority queue so priority queue as the name is specify minus the uh, priority of the insertion so let's say let me push 130 or uh, 400 or uh, let me push one more let's say 129 for example so uh, 
in the priority queue i can only see the top of the uh, just like a stack top of the element there is no front and back over here so if i go and see top you will see some difference over here that it is actually in the ascending uh, descending order so 400 comes first then 12900 and then 30 so it's actually a sorted order it's a priority queue on this variable so for example if i add one more let's say 540 then 540 will come first so um, similarly in the priority queue also you can pass either dq dq as a underlying data structure or vector as a underlying data structure we cannot use list and every uh, for list with uh, this priority queue we can only use vector or dq now for example let's say you want to uh, arrange this in a reverse order so as i have explained in my uh, previous video the part 6 of stl that um, we have something called std greater or std less please go ahead and look into the video for that explanation of that but we can use uh, here std uh, greater of type int to come up with something different in this case now it's coming into the ascending order not into the descending order which means by default it takes less so if it is less it will come it come in as a descending order so that's all about the container adapters stack queue and priority queue you know why we are going to use it and we, how we can change the underlying data structure it helps us a lot in uh, in this case if we use this container adapter uh, in different different scenarios and performance wise they most of the time they will uh, um, they will win hands down to any other stack queue or priority queue which we will write using our normal data structure so that's all about this video thanks a lot thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe thank you